Well, I'm gonna be unpinning some Pokemon cards, surviving a rainstorm, and a few other things on This Week with Big C. So once again, this week wasn't exactly the most exciting. I didn't go out and do anything particularly big. The main thing that I did that was kind of interesting uh, is gonna appear on the Bargain Game Hunter in probably July at this point. But you'll see it eventually. It was pretty cool, I had a big score. Anyway, enough talk about shows that are not on this channel let's get to the recap so you can see the few things that i did do this week and uh, a few updates to what's been going on hey everybody it is tuesday and i wanted to share i guess an, a life update and as you probably have known if you've watched this series for a while i try not to talk about negative stuff going on too much Mostly because I got a lot of feedback uh, from my earlier episodes of this series that I focused too much on negativity, which is true. I freely admit it. Um, but, you know, it's it's tough to not talk about negative stuff when that's mostly what's been going on. I still try to focus on positivity and I'm going to keep trying to focus on the more positive aspects. But, you know, because of that, there might not be as much content, which I'm sure you probably noticed from the last few weeks of this week where I don't film something every day because I don't have anything to say really uh, that's positive. But I did want to share this interesting little tidbit. My housing complex, my apartment complex, is really terrible. Now, Corey and I have already well established that we are going to be moving out at the end of this year, or of our, our lease, period. Like there's no ifs, ands, or buts, we are leaving. And these examples are just one of the many reasons why. So several years ago, our complex moved over to an online payment system where they created this online portal. There was supposed to be like a community portal where you could talk to other residents and make requests for maintenance and pay your rent online. And they required you to use that originally to do all this. About six months ago, the online portal went down and hasn't come back. No explanation as to why, it's just down. And when you go to the website to like see it, it just shows the online portal's unavailable and to contact the office. It's not fun. And mostly why it's not fun is in order to pay our rent, we have to pay it with a money order. In order to do that, we have to go get cash and then turn that cash into a money order and then go to the office and pay it, which one of us has to be off or available to do that. We haven't run into that issue yet, but I'm waiting for the day where neither of us are able to do it and then that's gonna be a problem, but it's, it's super frustrating. So that's one. Then, I think a couple weeks ago, we started getting notices on our doors. Like the whole complex, every single person, uh, their apartments got little notices on our doors from the water company that said that apparently our complex hadn't been paying the water bill and that they were threatening to shut off the water for the entire complex because of it. And that we needed to contact our office and tell them to pay their bill. Now, we haven't been paying water bills apparently, but we wouldn't know because how we're able to get the amount we owe for rent each month because the online portal is down is we literally just have to call the office and they'll just give us a number. They don't break it down by item. They just say, this is how much you owe. Usually that number includes the water bill, but I guess it didn't the last few months because Apparently there was some sort of grant that allowed them to not have to pay the water bill. I don't know, it's a whole mess. Um, so we kept getting notices for several days in a row from the water company that said that they were gonna shut up our water in June, or sorry, in May. I think it was like the second or third week in May. 
and then they gave us one last week that said that they were going to delay it until June. The complex responded by posting a letter on our mailbox area that says that they're aware of the situation, they're working with the water company, don't worry about it. Which, yeah, that's reassuring. <laughs> it gets better. On top of all that, Corey and I renewed our lease in February uh, when it was due in March. Last month, right before rent was due, we got a notice on our door that said that we hadn't renewed our lease and that if we didn't fill out the leasing information, we were going to be charged month to month, which we really can't afford to do. So we had to deal with that. And I have a feeling that's because they lost the leasing information because we did it digitally. So there's probably some sort of miscommunication or loss of stuff there. That was a pain in the butt. Lastly, and this is the part that's really affecting things for me personally, we have one laundry room in the entire complex. And we've had periods where the laundry room is down, whether it's for lack of heat, they're redoing it. There, there's been a number of periods where the laundry room is broken, but usually it gets fixed in like a week or two, which is not ideal, but like I can stretch out my clothes that long and be okay. Our laundry room has been down for going on seven weeks now. It just has a notice on the door that says, the laundry room is out of order due to emergency repairs. And of course, we, they didn't say what they were or what's wrong with it. All they've said is that it's down for emergency repairs. Now I've talked to the office about what's going on with the laundry room and nobody has any kind of response. None. Uh, in fact, the person I talked to wasn't even from our complex. They're apparently from a different complex and they're at our complex to help out. So nobody has any idea what's going on. And I haven't been able to wash my clothes at our apartment complex for almost two months now, actually about two months now. And that's a problem. I have washed my clothes once because I took them to a laundromat and you know, I stretched them out as long as I could, took them to a laundromat and laundromats are expensive if you have not used one recently. The laundromat that I took my clothes to it costs like almost $10 because they're like industrial washers. So we had to pay extra for washing and stuff. Not only that, but like I had to get coins to do it. It was a whole mess and took a lot of time. But I also had a ride to get there and I don't currently have a vehicle. So in order for me to wash my clothes, I essentially have to take my hamper on the bus just to get across the street to wash my clothes. It is a royal pain. And considering everything else that I've had to deal with, I just haven't been able to do it recently. So that's been fun. I've been trying to scramble to find ways that I can wash my clothes because I need to wash my clothes. But it's just another headache on top of another headache on top of another headache. It's awful. It's absolutely awful. So yeah, that's been going on. I'm about out of clothes at this point, so I'm gonna have to wash them, which I'm not looking forward to, but I gotta figure out a way to do it this weekend. So that's fun. So yeah, uh, I'm trying to think of what I can do in terms of like, I wanna complain about the complex, obviously. I've thought about calling like the corporate office for the management company and complaining to them if they're doing a horrific job, but I don't know if that's going to do any good. I, I already have left several negative reviews of this complex, and of course we are going to leave as soon as our lease uh, officially expires, but it's just, it's just been hell. It's been really, really bad, and I'm hoping that maybe things will get better, but I'm not counting on it at this point. And all of that is just what I'm dealing with at home on top of everything else I'm having to deal with. So yeah, I haven't had a, a good time the last several months. It's been, uh, it's been fun. But yeah, that's a little update. I know it's not positive, but I wanted to give you an idea of what kinds of things I've been dealing with lately. So hopefully I'll have some more positive things coming soon, but right now that's all I got. It's been a while since I've recorded a rainstorm. This one's particularly bad. And of course it's happening right when I'm trying to get home. So I'm under shelter. I think I'm gonna wait until at least it 
weakens a tad before I venture out into the, the tempest. Hey everybody, it is Wednesday, and as you can see, it is monsooning around me. This, half, this started like maybe 15, 20 minutes ago, and of course I just got off the bus, so I, I'm outside my apartment complex, underneath one of the bus shelters. I just don't want to walk out in the middle of this and get absolutely drenched. I'm still getting kind of wet under here, but it's not as bad as if I were to just walk out there right now. So I'm just chilling underneath the shelter, at least for now. And uh, when the storm subsides just a tad, I'll, I'll head home. So today was fine. I don't really have much to report. My right shoulder again is bothering me. I think it's being caused by something I'm doing when I'm sleeping, but uh, last week and this week, my right shoulder like randomly started hurting and I can't really explain why, it just, it just happened. So hopefully I can figure out why and not do it anymore. But yeah, waiting for the storm to go away and then I can head home and cook up some dinner, relax and get ready for one more day at work tomorrow before my weekend. I also wanted to mention, of course this is after my rainstorm adventure, uh, that we just hit 750 subscribers. So we're 250 away from hitting 1,000 finally. It's been a long time coming. We're getting there slowly but surely. Thank you, thank you, thank you to everyone who has gotten us this far. Hopefully we can keep that momentum going. I'm, I'm really hoping we can hit 1,000 before the end of the year. I really am. So if you like this channel and want to see much more content, especially live streams and some other fun stuff, please recommend your friends hit that subscribe button. Uh, so hopefully we can hit a thousand subscribers before the end of 2021 and really get this channel on, on overdrive. Let's get this going. Hello everybody, it is Thursday. I'm doing my grocery shopping a little bit earlier in the week just cause I wanna give myself some time to run some other errands over my normal weekend. But uh, as you can see, Walmart has finished construction on the outside, there's their new sign right out front. It looks good. That's what I figured it was going to look like. So I guess this is how Walmart's going to look now. It's not a huge improvement, but it's something, I guess. So I'm going to head inside. More than likely, there won't be any updates on the uh, construction in the what used to be the restaurant area. But if there is, I will, of course, bring you a Walmart construction update. But yeah, let's head inside and then uh, I know I'm see what the rest of the day brings. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we have progress. They have officially quarantined off what used to be the McDonald's, which my guess is they wouldn't do this unless they were actually gonna have active construction in here. So we might be getting something after all. That's pretty dope. Who knows what, there's been a number of rumors, but I hope it's either a Taco Bell or potentially um, they're like testing having some original concepts in here too. So who knows? I just want there to be another restaurant here because this was nice when I went shopping and to get some food while I'm here. So we'll see, but yes, we have progress. Can't go in there anymore. That's something. So while I was at Walmart, I happened to notice right before I was checking out that Walmart just got a nice shipment of Pokemon cards. Now I collected Pokemon cards back in the day back when they were in their absolute heyday, but I haven't touched them since. Now I'm still a big Pokemon fan. Obviously I just bought Pokemon Snap on the Switch and I'm expecting to buy probably two more Pokemon games in the next year or so. But it's been a long time since I've actually done anything regarding the card game. It was funny because I was commenting to Corey and our buddy Josh earlier today when we were at lunch that it would be kind of fun well, actually, no, let me, let me take that back. It was funny because I commented to Corey and our buddy Josh that I kind of regret not picking up Pokemon cards the last time I saw them just because I hadn't seen them since. And lo and behold, I find them again. I didn't make that mistake a second time. So we have two Sword and Shield Battle Styles booster packs. So I figured, you know what? Let's do a This Week with Big C TV first and open some Pokemon cards. I've never done that on this channel. It's been a long time since I've even opened Pokemon cards. So we're gonna do that. I'm not 100% sure what I'm supposed to be looking for or what at all, but I figure, you know, it'd be kind of fun to at least look at them. I do know most of the Pokemon because I played Sword and Shield. 
So it'll be cool to see what we get in these booster packs. So I'm gonna open this up and please, if, uh, if I do find something that's particularly rare, please let me know because I probably won't know. So let's open this up. I'm not gonna do like an aerial view like a lot of people do. I'm just gonna open it up in front of you. So I've heard the trick to putting the, the good card on the top is do one, two, but then the back, okay. All right, so I'm gonna show you every card that I get for each pack. So we're gonna start with the experience share card. Okay, we got a Perugly, cool, that's a diamond. I think diamonds are uncommons from what I remember. We have a Corefish, which is a common, I'm assuming, yeah. Cactnea, common, cool. I have a Single Strike Mawile. That's pretty cool. Mawile is a cool Pokemon. I got a Spoink. Cool little card. I don't think there's any. I'm, I'm, I'm waiting for the Hollow. We have a Galarian Mr. Mime. That's cool. I have a, I think it's a Reverse Hollow. Licky Licky. That's cool. I think I did it wrong because I found, I think this is my rare card. I have a Mimic UV Hollow. I don't know if that's worth anything, maybe. It's a cool looking card though. A electric energy and a Ethan Bell. So I'm pretty sure the Licky Licky and the Mimic UV are the two rare cards that I got. So I don't think they're worth a lot of money, but you know, still cool to find. Let's open my other pack. It's got an Empoleon on it. Let's see what we get. I might try the opposite, like bring two cards from the front. I don't know. I don't know much about Pokemon cards. Let's just be honest, I really don't. I used to back in the day, man. Like I had a nice collection and I wish I still had that collection. Let me tell you, because a lot of those cards, I have a feeling would be worth a good amount of money now. So I had some good ones. So and I just messed this whole thing up. So if we get the rare one at the beginning, I apologize. Uh, we're gonna start with Esper. I uh, got a Shinx, a S Rapid Strike Shinx, cool. Blip Bug, cool. A, looks like Reverse Hollow, Single Strike Embor. That's a cool looking card for sure. Lorantis, I guess that's my rare card, so I didn't get a Hollow from this one. I got a Lorantis. This Energy, a Crawdont, I have his pre evolution I got from an earlier pack. The Tower of Waters. Rapid Strike, Coriana's Focus, Rapid Strike, Sandlit, I like that art, it looks like Claymation almost, that's pretty cool. And Roly Coley, so there we go, those are the cards. So it looks like the rare cards that I got from my two packs were a non holo Lorantis, this Reverse Holo Embor, and then I got, well, I'll just pull them all out. I'm pretty sure the Mimikyu is the best one I got but we'll see. All right, so we have a Reverse Hollow Licky Licky. That's pretty cool. A Reverse Hollow Embor, also pretty cool. Then we have Lorantis, it's non-hollow, so probably not worth much of anything. And then the best card I have is a Mimic UV Hollow. So pretty cool. Um, I'm gonna take a look and see how much these cards are worth. If they're worth anything, they're probably worth nothing. And uh, I will get back to you as soon as I know, so. Kind of cool. So I took a look. Uh, the Lorantis is worth literally nothing, but I took a look at the other ones. The Mimikyu is worth like four bucks, so nothing crazy. Basically worth what the pack was. This Reverse Hollow Licky Licky is worth like a dollar fifty to two bucks, and then same with the Reverse Hollow Embor. So none of them that I have are worth a lot. They're still cool cards, so that's neat. I don't know if I'm gonna keep getting Pokemon cards, but who knows. I also have this promo Flapple card that I got from GameStop for pre-ordering Pokemon Snap. So it's sealed. I'm gonna keep it sealed. I mean, some people are asking a ludicrous amount of money for this. I doubt it's worth nearly what people are asking for, but I'll probably keep it sealed just because, hey, you never know, maybe it'll all of a sudden go up in value. So yeah, that was my Pokemon card opening experience. And uh, if you wanna see me open more, maybe if I find more uh, booster packs, I'll do so. But yeah, that's what I got so far. Or if you want to send me some, I'll be happy to open them for, for you. So yeah, that's a Pokemon card opening experience here on Big CTV. And that of course brings us to today, which is Saturday. 
I didn't really do a whole lot. I pretty much stayed home, did some editing, played some Mass Effect. That's about it. Uh, just kind of used today as a nice relaxing recovery day. I'm still dealing with issues with my, I think it's a neck muscle, but it might be a muscle in my shoulder. I'm not really sure. It's sore, but it's not as bad as it was at the beginning of the week. So hopefully it will continue to heal and I'll be good to go because I need to be good to go. I did also want to bring up an important thing that just happened and you can kind of chalk this up as a post quarantine chronicles update, sort of. Uh, yesterday, both Disney and Universal confirmed to go with CDC guidelines. That they are no longer requiring guests to wear masks outdoors in public spaces. So people are still required to wear masks in any indoor locations, but they don't have to wear masks if they're just walking around the park. So they can eat and drink while walking around and not have to wear a mask. Now, I have opinions on this. I do feel this decision was kind of rushed a little bit too quickly, especially when you consider the fact that cast members still have to wear masks and face shields and all this other stuff. But I feel this decision, although I'm, I'm glad it's, it's happening because we're getting progress, I think it happened too quickly. Personally, I would have liked to have seen them ease up to this start off with reducing physical distancing and then, you know, maybe not require cast members to wear face shields, start fully loading vehicles and fully loading shows, and then, you know, eventually lead up to the removal of masks. But I feel removing them at this stage was a little premature. So we'll see what happens. I'm, I haven't heard amazing things from people who work today about how things went. So I will find out for myself tomorrow when I go to work. But hey, it's, it's progress, I guess. I don't know if it's progress for the good or bad, but it's progress. So, you know, it's all we can ask for, I guess. So now let's go to a preview of an upcoming video. This So as most of you know, Reese's Peanut Butter Cups are one of my all-time favorite candies. So naturally, when I heard about the fact that Reese's was going to be putting together a cup that is all peanut butter, I was immediately curious. Let's try it. Bottoms up. That is going to do it for this week with Big C. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Remember, we air new videos four days a week on this channel, so be sure to hit the subscribe button, click that notification bell. That way you know when new videos drop. And I will see you next week on This Week with Big C. Bye-bye.